When Taiwan chooses a new president on Saturday, the repercussions will reach far beyond this island of 23 million people. Opposition leader Tsai Ing-wen is widely expected to defeat rival Eric Chu from the ruling Guomindang or Nationalist Party. That would make her the first woman to be elected as leader of an Asian nation without the benefit of family connections or money. Her victory would also have more immediate political consequences, given Taiwan's ambiguous status. The island has its own democratic government, but China still claims it as a breakaway province. Most countries, including the United States, do not recognize it officially for fear of upsetting an ever more powerful Beijing. Tsai is riding high in the polls because of dissatisfaction with the governing party and its efforts to pursue closer economic and political ties with China. If she wins, Beijing will not be pleased, given its hostility towards her independence-leaning Democratic Progressive Party. Any increase in cross-strait tensions would also worry Taiwan's allies, like the US and Japan. So Tsai has been at pains to insist she will maintain the status quo and keep the radicals in her party at bay. The bigger problem for Beijing is that public opinion in Taiwan is not moving in its favor. Surveys show that more and more people on the island see themselves as Taiwanese rather than Chinese. Even among those who rely on China for their livelihoods, many feel that Beijing does not accord them the respect they deserve. That includes Liu Shujian, who runs a health food store targeted at Chinese tourists on Kinmen Island, just a couple of miles from the mainland city of Xiamen. If uh, our customers have time, they want to sit down and they want to talk about the topic, I will talk with them and I will tell them the reality. We have our own nation and we have uh, our law and we have the president. We, we do everything as a normal democracy. We didn't pack tests to mainland China. They don't send any officer here to Taiwan. And they said, told me Taiwan is there for me is nonsense. The deputy minister in charge of negotiations with China says that Beijing has alienated many young people by blocking Taiwan's access to international organizations such as the UN. Taiwan is a very open society, you know, we have a lot of chance to go abroad, you know. Uh, Taiwanese people really want to participate more on international activities, for example, go to the United Nations or go to WTO and so on and so on. However, uh, mainland is kind of a, a big obstacle for Taiwan, so lots of young people are not very happy. They become more and more uh, pursuing for Taiwan independence. Despite the growing hostility to China, the vast majority of Taiwanese still support the status quo for fear that a formal declaration of independence may push Beijing to invade. There is little room for manoeuvre. Whoever wins on Saturday will find it difficult to navigate the treacherous straits in which Taiwan finds itself. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Taipei.